Hey everybody, welcome to the Forge. Thanks very much for popping by. Um, so a update on a new product line that uh, I'm putting out here at the Forge. And if you've just dropped in on this, you'll know what product line that is. And what is to do with that fantastic new game from Fantasy Flight Games, uh, Lord of the Rings Journeys to Middle Earth. Now, when I got my copy, I looked inside and I thought, hang on a minute, there's an awful amount of scenery, cardboard scenery in this game. Let's give it the uh, forge treatment and turn those uh, cardboard pieces into 3D elements. This is going to be a game that Fantasy Flight is going to build upon and it's going to get bigger and they're going to be adding more add-ons. They're going to do very much a similar way that they did Mansions of Madness and that's going to go on for big box add-ons and things like that. So whether or not this turns out to be sort of the descent changeover, I don't think so, but Descent they've sort of pushed to one side at the moment, as you know. Whether that comes back, maybe a Descent 3, is it? Um, who knows uh, if they're going to be getting out tomorrow, or is this going to take it over? And I've got a sneaking suspicion that they're going to build upon this. You only have to mention Lord of the Rings, and everybody's clamouring at it. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty much a no-brainer, really. Anyway, welcome to the Forge. If you hear a bit of noise humming around in the background, it's because all the printers have been put on pause just to make this video, and um, they go for 24-7 and that's the fans going so I've stopped prints at the moment I can't turn them off um, because they're halfway through printing people's stuff so let's get on to the scene as we know inside of the, uh, the box set is uh, the battle boards I call them battle boards and on those battle boards you have to lay out your uh, characters to do uh, battle with everything and there are a number of what they call terrain pieces now you would have looked on the site and seen the, the pictures and everything so I'm not too you know I don't really want to stick these up but those terrain pieces come in walls tables fireplaces you know and they're all got a different effect haven't they and uh, that's what we turned into so we've got our barrels there for instance we've got our rock formation tables the walls okay also the stream beds um, on there like a dark pit uh, this, 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 these are taken from my Gloomhaven collection, miniaturised, and they're sort of, you know, I'm still playing around actually with, with getting the fog effect, but that's the fog tile. Um, then we have a statue, and then we have uh, the little uh, coin bags things, of which there's uh, 22 of those. Um, in addition to that, what I thought we'd put in is some scatter terrain. Uh, this is the first pack of another, uh, basically I feel that this whole thing does deserve a 3D treatment. So one of the ideas is going to be is to turn these battle boards, as it were, into 3D. Um, they'll be printed in 3D and have textures on them and bits and pieces. So you'll be able to spray them. And I think that we're going to be doing some walls and bits and pieces. So keep keep tuned. Um, so the forge is going to be doing something a little bit more with that as well. Um, what I've thrown is some, some what I call scattered terrain. This is terrain that doesn't actually have an impact on the game, but uh, I produce some really nice trees. Uh, for the Gloomhaven thing and I thought well let's put three of those in there really nice on there also some what are called Dwarven uh, statues so we've got a full Dwarven statue there a bit of a Gimli look-alike and uh, and then the same version but a broken one also uh, in with the set as well is half a dozen of these lot of like mini pits little uh, mini pits and uh, if you subscribe to the channel which will be really cool um, I am doing some painting tutorials because I'm playing around at the moment with those sort of water uh, bog effects that are going on. Um, so that was the collection. I've put some photographs and bits and pieces. Now just to remind you, there is 96 pieces in this set. That's a huge amount of set. It's over a kilo of PLA. It's like about 100 hours print time. It's a really big set and you don't see it when you look in the box. You think, oh, but don't forget a lot of these tiles are double sided. You know, there's 10 walls, there's 10 streams, um, what is it, four barrels, um, you know, and, it, and, and so it goes on, and 22 of the little ones, and in fact, I got 21, I posted that at 20, and I'm not too sure if I've lost one of my little coin bag things, but, um, because I thought 21 was an odd amount, anyway, uh, we're going to, I'm going to print 22 of those, and so on and so forth, so, really quite easy to paint as well, so there's not a big, um, you know, learning curve. So a lot of this stuff can be just painted up, dry brushed, 
and uh, and you can get it on the gaming table. But like I say, it's stage one of a, of a, of a complete thing. However, really busy at the forge at the moment with lots and lots of other stuff that's going to come through and the fireplace. So I thought I had a big selection of fireplaces, but I thought that one came out really quite well. Okay, so that's the collection. Um, 96 great pieces and uh, it's, I'm making it available through Etsy. So if you have any questions at all, PM me, please subscribe to the site because um, I put lots of news bits and pieces. Also I have a Facebook page as well, which you should see in the links and so on. Um, come and join us on the Facebook page and uh, you can get loads and loads more of this nonsense, all right? So anyway, you take care, happy gaming, have those paints ready, and uh, like I say, my virtual door is always open and I'm open to questions and stuff. So you take care, see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.